Good afternoon. Welcome to our Thursday Live. Let us know if there are any issues like sound or if you can't see something clearly. We are so happy to be with you today. And we have some awesome creative ideas up our sleeves that we do want to share with you. Maestro, Maestro is so intrigued with this entire workshop that we are going to host and share with you today. And we are going to do everything step for step. Step by step so that you can see exactly how it's done and how this creative process transforms and builds on each other. So first of all, Maestri Kumirikant, kom in Maestro. First of all, we are going to create a hook with, like with Choco, we we love to upcycle, recycle, reuse items. So this is what we will be doing today. A layered stenciling technique with various choco stencils, stencil of Paris and choco colors. Sit, maestro. Sit, mooi. Sit. Yes. So first of all, we are not going to work with paint brushes today. We are going to work with an old rag, choco colors, a paint scraper and stencil of Paris paste. The colors we'll be working with is first of all for the first step is cloud white. Ish mouth ish. Sheriff stone. And then Alice gold. Okay, so let's start. First of all, I am going to take a rag, all piece of cloth, something that absorbs moisture well, and I am going to wet it in normal tap water. Squeeze to remove any excess moisture. And then I'm going to, you can use a spoon and just Put some cloud white on your damp cloth. Just a drop. And I mix it well into my cloth. So I make sure the paint is evenly distributed throughout my cloth. Very important for this technique. It's called a lime wash or a white wash, and this is what I'll be doing next, is that you work on a raw surface, raw cement, raw wood, um, raw bricks. And for the raw wood, because of the fact that wood is so porous and absorbent, I'm going to first of all wet my wood, my piece of timber, with water. And this allows for the lime wash finish to be very even on your surface. If you have a varnished surface and you want to create this technique, you will have to sand the varnish first, remove the varnish, and then apply your whitewash technique. Okay, so my wood is nice and wet, and this allows for a very even application of your lime wash effect. So I'm just wiping my cloud white onto my piece of wood. Make sure it's done evenly. And you can also determine how dark or how light you want this to be. If you want more of a darker finish, you will add more paint. Just make sure that it's evenly worked into your cloth. Give a minute or so just so that the first coat dries and then you apply another coat. Look how beautiful and subtle it transforms the color of the wood. So it's not a solid coat of paint on your surface, it's just a subtle color transformation of the raw timber. How beautiful. And this is called lime wash or white wash. 
there are different ways of doing this technique um, and you will you can also alter the technique and find a way that works best for you but this is one of the ways of doing this i will now allow for this to dry um, 20 to 40 minutes remember where that plays a huge part in the drying time of paint and oh my hat in Gauteng we have winds today and um, we are blowing away I didn't drive from the office home I flew here next I have a piece that has already been whitewashed and it is dry and the technique I'll be doing next is total and completely a creative process. For creative processes, they are never rights or wrongs. It's trial and error. Do something that you like, you can change, you can alter until you feel 100% satisfied with what you have created. So I'm using my husband is having biltong next to me. So if you hear all those squeaking noises, I'm working and he's eating biltong. I am going on a piece of old wood. It can be something like the backings of your stencils. That's also something that I reuse. And then you can make beautiful gift cards. Let's do it. Let's work on it. And then we repurpose and reuse. So here's the backing of my one stencil board. I'm going to add some sheriff stone. This is the first color I'm going to work with. Onto my board. I'm going to scoop some stencil of Paris onto my board. And I'm using this as a mixing surface. Later you can spread the stencil of Paris based out on your board you can stencil and you can cut it up and use it as gift cards so nothing goes to waste so i'm mixing a small amount due to the fact that it's a creative process there aren't exact rules doesn't matter how much paint how much stencil of paris just enjoy the process have fun relax unwind so i mix it in I take small amounts on my scraper and next I spread it onto my piece of timber. This is a technique that I'm doing on a piece of wood, but you can do it on a furniture piece, you can do it on a larger item, you can do it on a wall, you can do it on a flower pot, you can do it on a chest of drawers, there's no reason why this technique can't be done on a different surface. The only thing that I might change depending on the surface is to maybe paint a solid first coat instead of whitewash. But other than that, you have free rain. So I'm just spreading the stencil of Paris randomly and evenly onto my surface. lovely to do with friends make gifts christmas is knocking on our doors i can't believe i'm saying that what happened to 2021 we are almost entering october okay i'm just going to do half of the board and i can remove i can create more texture if i want there aren't any rules and you will find ways that you like, that you want to incorporate and do it. Also, you can alter this entire process and incorporate it with colors that you like. Okay, so this is step two. Randomly spread your stencil of Paris paste, mix with some chocolate color on your surface to create texture. And next, I'm going to allow for this to dry. let me put it safely behind me i can just see it falling okay step number three i'm taking this out of the way and here i have a piece of wood 
that has dried. So here I have washed applied stencil of Paris mixed with share of stone. Remember when you mix paint colors with share of, with stencil of Paris. So when you mix stencil of par Paris and choco colors together, it dries more or less two shades darker. So this step has been completed. How long does the stencil of Paris base take to dry? First of all, the thickness of your application plays a role and temperature, weather, is also a, plays a huge role in drying time of paint. I usually allow two to four hours, but I can feel this is now set rock hard. Next, what I'll be using is I'll be using my just small amounts. I'm going to use some of that, my previous mixture. I'm also going to mix some stencil of Paris with Ishmael's Ish. And I can just do it here on this section. So some stencil of Paris, Ishmael's Ish. I just dip the tip of my paint scraper in my paint color and I mix it. It's a beautiful camel caramel neutral. Okay, I have a cloth to clean my scraper for the reason that I'm going to be playful now. So I'm going to do layered stenciling with various charcoal stencils and layer them one on top of the other with different colors and different designs. Let's play. Stencil of Paris first. Press my stencil down. Remember, this is a creative tutorial. So perf perfection here does not count. So I stencil here and there. I add some of my previous mix of share of stone just here and there. Make sure it's still nice and even and neat. But it's not a complete application of the stencil design. Oh, I forgot something. I am so sorry. Okay, before Delete, delete step three. I want to show you what I want to apply before this. I am thinking of, I'm not even going to remove this. Just forget that you've seen this step, okay? Before I do this, just let's go back. I have whitewashed my surface. I have applied my share of stone with a scraper. And before I start with a stenciling, you could start with a stenciling now, but I want to add something else. Before I start applying my stencil work, I'm going to use Alice Gold. Now, the pigmentation of the metallic colors differ from the normal colors. You mix well, um, very important even during use, and we have recently made some adjustments with the formulation. Here, I'm going to dip my paintbrush my paint scraper inside my mixed metallic color just remove some excess and I can work from here again and as I have applied my share of stone before I'm just scraping some Alice gold onto my surface sorry for the noise I think it's close to the mic but important is that you see what gets done so no paint brush for this tutorial it's only paint scraper and all drags. And you can move in different directions to get the tone you want to get. Let me remove that so that you can see. So just for some excitement underneath. And once again, remember, you can work with paint colors and tones that you like. This is called being human. We are allowed to forget things, especially if you are a woman, because we have a lot of things to, re to remember. 
If you're a woman, you are allowed to forget this. Men, not so much. Okay. So I spread my gold out and I feel creative and I go and just enjoy the process. Okay, so this is step three. Step three, tick. Now, ladies and gents, we will be moving to step four. And here, I have a piece of wood that has already been prepared with the gold, with some share of stone, and now we are going to apply our stencil. So next step, put your stencil down. You can secure it with masking tape, but as I've mentioned previously, this is not a perfect stencil technique. This is very random, unplanned, and just having fun. I scoop some of the stencil of Paris from my jar, push my stencil down, scrape it over my stencil pattern. I want to hide some of the gold I have here at the edge of this blank. So as you can see, I'm not doing a perfect stencil. Random, randomly I spread the paste. I reuse some of my share of stone I've used previously on top of my white stencil of Paris. And this is the share of stone mixed with a stencil of Paris. What the stencil of Paris does, it's a paste that creates um, an embossed stencil effect. And we have shown on our YouTube channel so many uses for the paste. If you haven't seen the possibilities yet, please go visit our channel to be inspired even more. And here, I remove my stencil and I put it down. You don't need to worry about pattern repeat. And I am adding some more. So random spread. Can you imagine how beautiful this will be on a chest of drawers? If you paint the framework in a solid color and just on the drawers, you add the texture and technique. Can you imagine this on a wall? It will be more effort, more work, but oh my hat. Um, I'm really contemplating doing this in my own bathroom. And I'm adding some share of stone again here and there. Just some light and darker shades and you can use colors that you love. So it's an imperfect perfect. Next, how beautiful is that? We have a question. Yes. And Zal wants to know, can you mix any color with stencil of Paris? Okay, there's a question. Can you mix any color with stencil of Paris? Yeah, any chocolate color can be mixed into the stencil of Paris except for the metallic colors. The metallic colors won't remain metallic if you mix it with a paste. Also bear in mind, if you mix reds with a stencil of Paris, it will turn pink due to the red and white mix. Then I would rather reapply my stencil. If you want a red finish, reapply my stencil once the stencil of Paris has dried and just with a um, stencil brush, paint the, the stencil emboss, embossing in red. I hope it makes sense. Okay, next, I'm putting down a different stencil design. I take my Ishmael's Ish and Choco Mix. I spread it with a different design on top. Doesn't matter that the previous stencil work hasn't dried yet because I'm layering just here and there. The nice thing about this is 
the more imperfect it is, the better. So if you have an OCD personality, which I can also um, sometimes be guilty of, and there's nothing to feel guilty about, this is actually a process that you can enjoy without having to worry, did I paint perfectly? Is everything perfect? Is my stencil work perfect? This is something that you can relax and just enjoy. Okay, and I'm going to just do the last piece there. And you can layer it layer on layer until you are completely satisfied with the outcome. Okay. I hope everything was clear. I hope you enjoyed it. What I've done with my final plank is we drilled some holes in it. And we always, if we paint furniture, we keep the old hooks and knobs because you can always repurpose, reuse. We try to be kind to nature and throw away as little as possible. And this can be used as a hook, even this old handle, old hooks. This is a cheap hook that you can get anywhere. And just an old plague that we had from one of the furniture pieces we recently painted. So repurpose, reuse, hang it on your wall, have fun with it. You can hang it in a bathroom, hang towels over it, or your hat and your coat and your jersey, um, or your dishcloths in your kitchen. Um, you can even hang your husband on that. Or your children. We have a question. Mm -hmm. Can you put stencil of Paris on panel heaters? There's a question. Can you put stencil of Paris on a panel heater? I honestly do not know. I haven't tried it before. If you want to be brave enough to test a section for us, use your panel heater and let us know whether it was a success or not we would be so appreciative of it but i honestly don't know if it will be a success or not but let us know um, my message for this week is creativity is something that you exercise it's like a muscle in your body and i think the more you do it the more comfortable you, you will start and the more self-confidence you will start gaining in yourself but see this as the first step to that self-confidence and trying something and and while being creative you are actually actually allowing yourself to receive therapy and give therapy to others because this will now be a gift to someone else and it's something i've made myself um, i hope you have the most amazing last minutes of September 2021 and that the month of, of October will be a month filled with blessing and filled with creative inspiration. Thank you for watching and we'll be back next week.